Welcome to the Cha Junior Ryuki channel, where gaming and nachos are law. So sit back, relax, and let's dip in. Hello guys and welcome to Ark Modded. We are back here on our buffoon. And I've just been flying around like really all over the place, so I'm back here again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish. I'm just gonna go rain some destruction real quick. And we're gonna start this episode off with we're just gonna destroy a lot of things. So that's what we're gonna do. Absolute mayhem. Literally where I can't hit him. And that's not I have not put a single point in, in his melee. I just want to make that note, because I'm pretty sure I never put a single thing into his melee. Not a very fast swimmer, I can tell. Zoom on that butt! Zoom in on that butt! Zoom in! doesn't really have a wide range of a hitbox like it you know what I could have done I could go after a dire bear ooh that's what we could do I kind of want to look for the right ones though like a celestial or So basically the same thing's gonna be this one. We're not we don't know if we're gonna be taming anything again. Never know. Might be surprised. But yeah. Just never know. At this point, probably just never know what's gonna show up. It'd be nice if we could get one. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get ya! Bah! Again, for something that I have not put a single point into the melee in. Really not bad. Like I said, I, like in the last episode, I'm pretty impressed with it. And the thing is, this episode might not be as long as the other one. You never know. Mr. Bullfrog. Here we go. We finally got ourselves a demonic thorny dragon, the one thing that's been in a thorn in our side, very high attack, no idea if we could breed it, which I highly doubt we don't. I don't think we could breed these at all, to be quite honest. And then we got ourselves a celestial griffin from the last episode, or not griffin, Spino! But, I know I said that this one, this one was actually the male that we tamed right when I spawned back where we tamed this one uh i changed the gender to female mainly because look at the comparison to an attack this is the, the the what used to be a male it's a female now uh the attack is 161 this is the one i originally tamed 159 and yes this one's maxed out completely maxed this 184 look at that same level but the attack is so much better so what we're gonna do is they all should be yep mating boom there we go and I'm gonna let them breed I'm gonna let them breed so, let me put you, little buddy, that's not where I wanted you to be, you need to get back in your spot, right there, he's a little alpha, little alpha bulb dog, little buddy, well, now what do you got for me? I guess I could try and use these pellets. Um, 
let's Don't you growl at me, you little turd. Alrighty, everybody. It's been a hell of an ordeal. We ended up getting one of these. We ended up taming that one and that one, which still breeding. Still breeding. And we probably should have. I know it looks like a dodo wyvern, but it's not. We probably should have used this guy right out to get go. I should have went and grabbed it. It doesn't hit for much, but it hits just enough to do to possibly get an egg from the alpha endoms but never really found one again after our uh, one little attempt with our uh, buffoon megatherium that we tried out and boy it hits pretty hard it hits really really hard I think it actually hits harder than these guys, to be quite honest. And we ended up taming our first demonic, which happens to be the very same kind that's been the thorn in my side, that's been kicking my butt, literally, from the first episode. That's a lot of the stuff you guys don't see. And we also got our first Celestial. Look at this. Look at this. Perfectly blue color. How do you do? Alright. So right now, there's these guys have been constantly breeding. And I'm doing the same thing with these guys. Because I think this is the one that we originally tamed. Or that I tamed originally. And this is the one that we tamed just a little bit ago, which got a stronger attack. If you're wondering what's on my shoulder, that's the bulldog. Or, yeah, a little, little bulldog. Because, uh, I, it was dark and it just now turned aside to turn light. So maybe while off camera, while gathering more materials and whatnot, preparing for much more boss battles and everything because there's a lot of stuff with regarding to these things from the Gaia stuff that I've been uh, really doing and trying to get as much needed as possible and then I will be how far do you gotta go you got 20 minutes before you can start breeding again how far do you got 30 minutes where's the uh you got an hour. So at some point, I'm going to have to do it again. But, I want to thank you guys for watching. I know this might not be a, f a fun, exciting episode. After the first one, after all these spontaneous teams that we got here. But we've got a slew of eggs that... We've got like almost 60 eggs and we're going to get more. So, we have a lot to take a look at. We have a lot to hatch here. Because we have no idea what's going to be popping out of these and how strong they're going to be. So maybe, maybe next episode, I will just pick one of each of these completely at random. Especially the ones that we've been breeding so far. And... Simply just hatch them and then grow them up and see what we get. And, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe be a fun episode hatching some eggs. You know, maybe do some more breeding. Cause that's always a fun thing. So, with that, I'll call that an episode and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.